What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So, I'm talking about Prey in this video here again today, aka Predator 5. So, the official trailer, the one that was leaked, was officially released yesterday. And Dan Trachtenberg, who we know is directing it, has gone out of his way to prepare people for this. He did this a few days or like a day or so prior, saying that to ignore that because the official trailer was coming and now it's here. People have seen it. I've seen a lot of people mostly being very positive and open to what they have to offer with the looks of this new movie. And the, again, plot synopsis that was altered and released to the public officially is a little bit more digestible like i was saying than the one that was out there for the casting call announcements with all of these different buzzwords that i know got people in the mindset oh, okay this is going to be woke propaganda or something like that and again the idea of a final girl isn't what the problem is it's how you how you maneuver said final girl into the story and how you manage to tell her empowerment narrative is it going to be done by you know demeaning the men around her or is she just going to be able to stand tall and be just as strong as everyone else around her that's how most people would prefer you do it without trying to you know say that one is superior over the other because we both need each other so, so i think that's what people feel like but going into what he was talking about in a new interview after uh this trailer was released he went on to talk about how about the predators looking different and why that might be in some new gadgets when talking with comic book he said that the new predator looks a little different because well it is our predator in mind not only does he exist or i guess that confirms it's a he not only does he exist you know 300 years before but i think in sci-fi movie terms time moves very slowly ships aren't suddenly like so different but i think this guy this guy's perhaps from a different hemisphere of the planet and a little bit of a different breed so even his look is a little new it's familiar but new so i'm i'm like so I'm excited for people, even for diehard fans, to really see something they hadn't seen before. He also went on again to talk about new gadgets and where his inspiration came from there. I teased a while ago that I took inspiration from the latest God of War video game, and those two things are in the trailer. Trachtenberg revealed. One is his shield that you see briefly. Yeah, I saw that. That looked amazing. And the other thing, and the other thing is not a predator gadget, but just the way that naru wields her axe she invents something very cool for that tomahawk and that comes from a mechanic in that video game i think the shield is something super cool there's a couple things that are that are the same but even those things function slightly differently i did see people highlight how this predator does look a lot thinner the thing that get, that i'm mostly hoping we get right if we see the face just get the face right just get the face right that's all i'm mostly concerned with at this point because i, I imagine us i imagine that we'll get to see something more explicit about this creature when we see the movie and it's unveiled this upcoming summer this in the month of august on hulu so when considering that i know that's some information that might get a lot of people excited and looking forward to the movie because again the trailer isn't bad the trailer didn't look bad by any means there are some things in it that i see people of course honing in on like okay the the bear sequence and how you know the bear could have been practical I, I get all of that and how if she couldn't take down a bear how am I supposed to believe that she could take down the predator I really think the biggest thing to go into with that mindset there is not that they want you to believe that she can stand her own against a predator as much as they want you to believe that she is just as equal here as all of these other people who I would assume are going to be a lot of men because they're going to drop like flies as well they're going to try to sell you more on that. I really don't think that she's going to beat this predator in this movie as much as they're going to just try to tell you a empowerment narrative that highlights how the men and the women really do need to work together. And they probably should be more open to her getting involved because they don't stand that much of a chance that differently compared to what Nauru has to offer. So that's something that I think is going to be highlighted. I don't think Nauru is going to win in the end. I just don't. I don't think it... So far from what we've seen at or at these people's disposals, depends on, again, what happens and if you can sell me on them beating this thing. I don't see anyone in this movie winning against this Predator. I see the Predator coming out on top. I see I see it just being a dominant force and a movie that ends while successfully telling you a thought-provoking empowerment story, the Predator still came out on top. I just see that being how it plays out. The other thing that I know people were pointing out was that one of the writers from the boys Amazon Prime series, um, Eric Kripke, I believe it's pronounced. He's, he put out a tweet saying that I will neither confirm nor deny that Danny Trachtenberg show me and some friends a rough cut, but I can confirm that it's effing awesome by a mile the best Predator movie since the original. 
questions I saw. Why does it have to be the best since the original? That's just, again, at this point, as far as as many times as we see this, that's marketing. That's just marketing. And of course, look who's saying it. This person is responsible or involved in one of the most successful, well-reviewed Amazon Prime video series as of late with the boys. And now they're out here telling you that Prey which of course has some political stuff in it as well is is a good movie as well so that should of course then make audiences who like the boys say what's prey oh predator five well if he's saying it's good i'm gonna go check it out stuff like that i'm not saying that necessarily that predator fans who might not have no knowledge of the boys are gonna care what he says but this definitely might bring over fans of the boys now to watch prey if this movie is indeed effing awesome like he says it is so we'll see what ends up happening with prey it's gonna again come out later this summer in august on hulu and we will get to see naru go head to head to head with this predator that's terrorizing the comanche tribe and will hopefully get a compelling arc that 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 explores this character sells us on why she might stand a little bit of a chance here and you know just completely make you while you know she doesn't stand a chance it just makes you feel inspired by her willingness to still fight on even if the odds are clearly stacked against her and everyone else in the movie you will feel empowered in some way coming out of the movie because of her willingness to just carry on because i i, I truly don't see anyone making out of this movie alive i do think that yes if naru comes out of the movie alive you are gonna have people getting all uppity about it if everyone else died but her i myself would wouldn't knock the movie too much but it also depends on what was done prior to getting to that moment. There's so many different things about this movie that are a factor, not just any woke agenda you think went into it. What was the execution though? Outside of all that behind the scenes stuff, how was it executed? How did Dan Trachtenberg bring it to life? How are the performances? How was the script? How was the dialogue? All these other things. If there's CGI, how was that? The visual effects, cinematography, so many different things. Let me know what you guys think about the trailer of Prey now. This official release down in the comment section below. What do you think about these new comments? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.